Brief DVM's coming at you with uh, taking the 5090R John Deere out um, with the new Snowway plow on it. Um, we went with the big V plow by Snowway, um, got it mounted basically for a skid steer. Um, this is one of those plows that can do multiple angles, which is what we wanted <clears throat> on the farm. Just makes it a lot easier to get the roadways cleaned in the upper areas. Now we just um, had kind of an ice storm which turned into snow. Um, so the plow is, is wet from the rain, um, and then of course it froze and there's a little bit of snow out there. And the back area is about three or four inches up on the top where the wind blew and the ice really came down probably about, a, about an inch. But we're going to take it out and break it in today and show you how the plow works. Now this is a nice plow, um, pushing just I think a little over nine feet at its widest point. It, uh, it hooked up the tractor real easy with just a couple hydraulics. Um, you know, the, the distributor for Snowway worked with uh, Deer to help us get it on. And, you know, Minnesota Equipment uh, NI Santee just did a great job of hooking it all up. One thing I like about it is, you know, you got all the different angles, just like on a pickup truck that you can plow with. Um, you can put it up into that kind of inverted V and push snow up in your driveway. You can open it up to a full V and plow through basically a trail or a road that's really closed. Or you can do a right or left straight blade, which is which is really nice. It just it makes it a lot easier. Um, the 5090R is is a beast of a tractor, um, both for amenities and size for this type of farm. So works great. Um, we're just gonna fire it up here. Um, it's pretty cold. It's about six seven degrees out. You don't even have to glow plug this beast, which is really nice. Um, probably you know below zero, I might need to, but um, it's it's really been starting quite well. Fires right up, runs about 900 RPMs on idle, and she's good to go. I'm getting used to the little lock thing on it where you gotta hit unlock to be able to, to move your bucket and stuff at the front end of this, and uh, certainly I'm obviously getting used to the to the visibility that I have because this, this particular tractor has more visibility, and it just, it looks different um, up in the cab, you know, plowing with this. So again, this is, this is one of my first times plowing with this plow, so, you know, bear with me as I go a little bit slower. Um, I'm not going to take it out of, you know, uh, B1 or A4 just uh, because I'm just trying to get used to how it pushes and, and, and navigate it. A lot is being done with my right hand um, on a little joystick instead of an actual, you know, hydraulic set of levers um, to operate this, this plow, which is, which is just fine. It just takes some adapting and getting used to. So if you notice me taking a few minutes here to, to back up and get my orientation, it's just because I don't want to run into anything, hit anything, or you know, damage the new piece of equipment as I'm getting used to it. As any good plow guy will tell you, it, it probably takes you a half hour to an hour to get the feel of the plow in front of you, get the feel of how level it is. Um, we're pushing on, on gravel, so we do uh, use the plow shoes on these um, plows. Um, I have in the pot past with my, my big boss plow too. Um, I know a lot of people on pavement and stuff don't need shoes, and that's fine, but uh, if we don't, we tend to dig in a little deep and start pushing gravel and we don't really want to do that up here so you will see that this one's got all four plow shoes on it so again this V plow has four plow shoes two in the center and then two on each end um, the ones on the end are just just inside of those uh, you know guide markers there on the side those big yellow markers it um, it does not come standard with the deflector on top. That is an optional piece, but I kind of like that it helps curl that snow around, especially if it's it's fluffy, throw it back into the big V to kind of get it off to the right or the left. So those plastic guards there on the front, that was optional put on by Snowway. So here we are. We found one of the driveways. Um, again, there's fresh three, four inches of snow on it, so we're just going to push this. This tractor really doesn't struggle at all. Um, it's just, it's got enough weight. It's, it's got, you know, the four wheel drive system in it. So once you lock it down, it just pretty much takes off through it. Um, you'll notice when I do the driveway, um, back up at the house where the wind is blowing a lot of the snow off and it's a lot icier from the rain that you'll notice that she does slide a little. And that's typical when she's on ice still, but it really did a great job plowing. Um, I'm happy I have a plow like this. In this situation, like I said, if this was really deep snow on this road, I could put it into a full V mode and just take the center and plow right through it. And that's basically what I want to do. And then just come back and clean sides. I have a couple other roads that we've got to keep clean. This road goes to um, a set of livestock. Um, I've got to keep it open. Otherwise, it's really, really difficult um, to get the um, hay and the grain back to these guys. 
Um, back here, the snow is probably about six inches. I didn't, I didn't think it was that deep at first, but um, it's actually fairly deep. If you can see the sides of the plow, she's, she's pushing through it pretty good. So no problems. Tractor did great. Plow, even in its V mode, which is what it's in right now, I've got it in the V mode. It's still plowing wider than the 5090R tires, which is good. So I'm not clipping the edges and making things, you know, fall in or I'm not riding the snowbank trying to drive this. Um, uh, all the way out on this trail, I just kept it in, in B1. I would be the, the fifth gear in this one's box. So, you know, when you got a lot of different gears, um, th that would be considered one of the slower gears for this tractor. So, again, I know people plow faster, but just getting used to the rig and uh, just kind of getting into the to the feel of the plow and the tractor. What it's leaving behind um, is a nice smooth area. Um, I'll do a review on the Frontier Snowblower when I use it more in the future. Um, I do have that on its butt. And, uh, you know, snow like this, you don't even need it. I mean, the plow does it all. There's, there's no reason to, to blow snow with the Frontier. Occasionally, I will drop it and uh, just drive backwards and push with it, um, especially when we're up at the house. But as you see, when we get up to the house, um, there isn't much up there uh, for snow due to the wind. So she's driving along at about 2200 RPMs here, as you saw, and she's doing really good. She's just, she's pushing snow like a beast. Sometimes you get in these bottom areas after, say, a five or six inch snowstorm, there'll be a foot, foot and a half of snow drifted in just due to the wind. But right now, I don't know, it's probably about six to eight inches at best. But again, the plow is handling it great. It's got a nice edge on the front. Two great big massive trip sp strings, which uh, those springs really help try to, you know, cushion it if you do hit some rough ground. And trust me, these these uh, these roads back to the cattle are just, uh, they're a piece of work sometimes. I mean, sometimes they get a little tire marky when it's soft, and sometimes there'll be a gopher mound or a hole pocket in them. And, you know, you'll feel it in the tractor. Um, even with the good cab suspension and the air suspension seat on this one, you can still sometimes feel those bumps. So it's nice to have a plow that's got some give. As I come up to the house here, like I said, the wind has been blowing about 35 miles an hour. Took a lot of the snow off the top up here. It's just dumped it into the backlands, um, which is the way things sometimes go. So when I get up to the top, it, it gets pretty icy and there isn't a ton to plow. Um, but I still got to clean up a little bit up here. Um, got to get kind of spun around and, and push out the banks and stuff that are up here. So as I do that, um, I'll try and change the configuration here a little bit just so you can see how it moves. So right now I just came back up from the other place in a V. Um, I can make it go into that kind of inverted V and then push. This is probably the number one reason I wanted this thing so I could just kind of scoop piles up and, and make snow banks. Um, that is exactly what I wanted to do. Um, you just really can't do it with a straight blade as easy um, and certainly um, it's a it's it's a nice feature that you know all the skid steer blades and the V plow blades can do. So um, getting one on this big thing was was really nice. So again, I can just kind of pile up my snow. You saw it trip there a little bit. Um, that's just because that snow blank is pretty hard with ice, but it takes out a nice you know probably in this mode probably about an eight and a half foot swath with a piece of cake. Um, it's just a it's a real pleasure to drive a, a plow like this that works so nice. So um, transmission on this tractor, um, being that it's kind of shiftless, is is really nice. It makes it easy to kind of giddy up and go with it back and forth when you're doing plowing. Um, it, was, it was a real fun experience today to be out on it and use the piece of equipment. Obviously, I wish it hadn't rained. Um, it would have made the snow a little easier to work with. But, you know, uh, weather is weather. On the farm, you can't always change that. I, as you can see, don't have any kids outside right now. Um, one of the things I should mention is typically when we plow on the farm, uh, we do have a rule that all the kids are inside. The only one out um, is camera person. Um, in this situation, it's actually my wife. So she's out here filming us, but uh, shy of that, uh, because there being so much backing up, the farm and the homestead area here, um, we just, we always keep the kids inside. It's just, it's the best way of doing it. Um, it's safer that way, folks, and I'd recommend if you're able to do that on the farm, um, sure try and do it because some of those little kids, they just, they don't understand um, how quickly you can back up and you're in a big rig like this and you got a big blower on your butt, you really can't see down very well. But this is the beast plowing, it's the 5090 John Deere, um, over 90 horses, 
uh, plowing away with a big um, snowway um, plow on it. It's their V plow. It can be put on a pickup truck or a skid steer. It's just a fantastic piece of equipment, folks. Uh, enjoy the winter weather. Um, please like and subscribe and support our channel. We'll keep putting out great videos like this. Thanks.